Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you will not miss a future video. Welcome to the channel, the Tech Piano Player Kid. A black background with white text that reads the Tech Piano Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille. What is up everyone, the Tech Piano Player Kid here and today I'm going to be doing more of the Zoom H1 Essential, also known as the Zoom H1E. E as an echo. And so last time I uh, did an unboxing video or deboxing, I guess you can call it, where I took out the items, also about what I got, some extra accessories, and setting it up and going through some testing. Today, we're going to go through some other settings. Um, and I'm going to show you how to transfer files from this recorder to the computer. Now, apparently you can also use this as a microphone for your mobile device, I believe. Um, I'm going to check that because I, don't wanna I want to make sure that's correct. If that's the case, that's actually pretty cool because then you can have stereo while you're recording. So yeah. As mentioned, you know, this recorder is very lightweight. Um, the case does not come with it, and the batteries do not come with it. Now, the case, I understand. I get that. Batteries, though, I'm very surprised. I would I, I would think that would include batteries for these, at least for this one, but they don't. So you have to buy some on Amazon, um, which you can probably find like a couple pa um, a pack of maybe two or about four maybe for about $10, roughly. So, yeah, but I'm actually very impressed. <laughs> I, I listened to the recording of my piano and there was no clipping. Um, again, this is 32-bit float. Um, for those of you who are, you know, younger audiences, you know, middle school or high school, maybe, yeah, maybe middle school-ish, whatever. Some of you are probably wondering, what is 32-bit float? I'm not going to get into it, guys, because that's a very... That's another topic. Basically, it just makes it, it's it's better recording and you don't have to worry about as much as, as when something's clipping. And I think you can go to higher um, ladder sounds and stuff without having to worry about clipping. If you're recording firework uh, sounds, you don't have to worry about the microphone going, whoa, that's loud. And there goes my Amazon smart device over there. Uh, I have it on a grandfather clock on the hour every day from certain times. Um, pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, also, guys, before I continue, if you guys want to contact me, feel free. You know, you don't have to worry about asking me. I mean, that's what that number is there for. I'll say it right now, even though it's in the outro, 913-312-1325. Uh, that's to text or call me. You don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about any uh, internet, uh, what do you call it, long distance fees, because I would think most people, I think most calls these days are long distance free. Um, and also calling or FaceTiming me if you're on the iPhone, you can FaceTime or call me. But before you do, please text me first so I know who you are because I've gotten some spam text messages. And obviously, even if you don't say your number, I mean, you can't, you can't avoid spam calls these days, um, unfortunately. So please uh, let me know. If you're under 18, please, 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 please have a parent or guardian give permission. Um, Better yet, have them use my consent form on my website. It's um, the techpianoplayerkid.com. And underneath the nav main navigation menu, uh, you'll see a couple things there. You'll see join my Slack group or join my uh, Children of the Light Christian group, which is something new I just put there. Um, both the consent form are on those things. I did that just because for safety reasons. But if you're not interested in joining those groups, then you can use just a consent form on there. It's called Child Consent Form, and you can do that now. I'm going to say this right now. Yes, I know that's probably not the best way because, you know, people can pretend that, yes, their parents signed it. I get that. But that way I have proof and say, here is the form I got. If you didn't sign this and your child actually did it for you, well, then I'm sorry, I can't do anything. Because, you know, it's just the way it is. But if you're 18 or over, you know, and you use the form to 
sign up for the uh, one of those groups, then you can just use your own name um, for the you know birthday and everything like that. So you'll be you'll be okay there. Okay, everything that out of the way. So transferring files. So I'm still trying to figure out what those two buttons do at the very bottom, underneath the record button. Uh, there's one on the left and one on the right. I still need to figure out what those do. I need to call Zoom. Um, not not the Zoom that you're thinking of, not like the Zoom like on the application Zoom. This is a different Zoom. I need to call them and ask them what those two buttons do because I cannot figure out what they do. Because um, they don't seem to do anything. I mean, they do, but they don't. So I don't know. So anyway... If you want to um, move something over, you obviously need the USB-C cable. You could, you could, I'm saying you don't have, you don't have to, but you could take out the micro SD card, put it into it, the SD card slot, and then do it that way. But let's say, well, I don't have an SD card slot. Okay, well, or I do have one, but the card's too small. You can get an uh, SD card adapter, which changes the micro SD card to a big one, like a regular SD card. There's a little slot on the end where you slide in the micro SD card into the main one, and then you plug in the main SD card into the computer. Well, you know, let's say you don't want to do that. I get that. This is why that you can use the USB-C, connect that to the voice recorder, and connect the other end to the computer, either Mac or PC, and what's nice, it lets you when you go to file transfer or it's under usb in the main menu that there's a file transfer option and then it asks you hey which device do you want to transfer to pc and mac or something else so that's really nice i like that so i'm going to jump over to my mac computer and you'll be able to hear that and we'll test that out so before i do that let's do a test recording Oops, and we'll do that. So here we go. This is a test recording on my Zoom H1 Essential. I'm using the microphones on the voice recorder. Yes, it's probably not centered, but this is just a demonstration on how to transfer the file from the Zoom H1 Essential to the computer. There we go. So let's just say that you're out and about doing this. So I'm gonna turn this off, just pretending. There we go. And I'll jump over to my computer. In this case, my Mac. I could do it on my Windows, but I don't have any way of capturing the audio. Well, okay, that's actually not true. I can, but I may have to transfer everything over and I don't wanna do that. I have to connect everything to it and I'm just too lazy to do that. So let's do this on my Mac. Okay, so I'm back at my computer and let me go and plug it in here so you can hear what's going on. Well, maybe, if I can find the plug. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Now, I will plug in the cable into the recorder. Actually, first of all, I should turn it on. It would be helpful if it's the right way. So let's go and plug it into the uh, recorder. USB okay, so now it's asking which USB is this? So now we're gonna use the arrow keys. USB file transfer. So first of all, there was the USB mic and the next one's USB file transfer. USB mic. And that's it. So we want, USB file transfer. we want that one. I'm gonna press okay, which is the top right button. So we have PC slash Mac as the first option. Mobile device. And the second one is mobile device. PC slash Mac. We want PC slash Mac. We're going to press OK. Again, top right. File transfer. There we go. It said file transfer and it gave us a little beep. All right. I put my recorder down. There was a problem with your last caption. If you think this is a bug, please tell us exactly. Okay, default. Okay, default. Track view. Verdict track view. Collapse. Layout area. Verdict track view. Okay, that was weird. Layout area. Finder. Finder. Uh, hmm, weird. Tabs, okay, anyway. So let's go ahead and press the, um, go to my finder here, which I'm on the desktop. And that's my arrow thing saying, hey, you're already out basically. Document. So I'm gonna press ZO real quick. Test. Folder. 
I'm gonna press tab. I'm gonna actually delete that. We want zoom underscore h one e. Open that by doing command O. List view, take list view table. Arrow zero four two nine two four zero zero caps in size document. Caps zero zero four two nine zero four. This is a test recording on my Zoom H1 Essential. I'm using the microphones on the voice recorder. Yes, it's probably not centered, but this is just a demonstration on how to transfer the file from. The okay, so you get that. Zero, zero four two nine two four one seven. So let's do a a copy on that. A copy zero four two nine two four one seven zero five. A command two, C, and then I can Command W, and then to move it, actually, I can do Command. Option and V. So the command is next to the space bar. The option is known as also the alt key and then V as in Victor. Uh, the command key could also be the Windows key on Windows, which is kind of interesting. But anyway, I'm going to do that. Okay, so it must be to uh, touch ID. There we go. Um, sorry. It uh, made me uh, do my touch ID because I think I have set on there to do tr file transfer stuff for uh, as uh, authentication. Not necessary, but I put it that way because of, well, I don't know why, security reasons. Okay, so we did that. So now it's there. So if we go back to Zoom H1. All right, so that's that. Now, notice in here, there's a thing called Zoom. Zoom. Z -O -N -S -S. Zoom .S -Y -S. I believe this is the system document file, so you do not want to delete this. I don't think. I don't know what would happen, but I wouldn't recommend deleting this because I think this is what makes it work on the SD card. Uh, the trash folder is also there, so in case you delete something from the trash, you can recover it. I believe. Um, so I'll go back in here. Whoa, okay, yeah, that's a lot. So I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to delete, uh, put backspace, or command backspace. And do command shift backspace. Enter. There we go. They're gone. Cool. All right. And you're probably going to do that also emptying the trash in the on the Zoom recorder as well. You can also do that. So the recording isn't as loud. Um, it may not seem to me it's not loud because I'm using specific headphones and maybe the volume on here where it is, it's not loud, but maybe for you on the other end is probably fine. I don't know, but you know, it, it does what it does. Um, if you didn't hear the recording where I was doing a test recording on my piano, that I actually did it, it did, did it, it decently. It did, it did decently with the recording of the piano. I was, I was actually mildly impressed. Um, I was not expecting it to sound that good. I was expecting something kind of like, I don't know, kind of like uh, very, very um, distorted and clipping and everything like that. And again, I, I was, I was shocked. I, I, I was not expecting that. So uh, points to you, Zoom. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm. I'm, in, I'm impressed. Wow. So, yeah. Now, I would not rely on this recorder to record every single thing for, like, music. Um, I mean, you probably could. And then maybe apply some noise f filter on it so it won't have, you know, like, background filtering. Or background filtering. Uh, you know, the preamps making noises and stuff. I, I know for those of you, again, who are younger, um, middle school and don't know anything about audio stuff, I know I'm talking way above your, your head right now. <laughs> But hear me out. It's just basically um, how you know you know how good the microphones are and everything like that, and you know the leveling of the microphones, how loud and how good they are, and how clear and crisp and everything like that. So yeah, like right now, if I stop talking, you can't hear anything or barely hear anything. Well, that's because I have um, a certain equipment that's you know taking. Uh, the noise, the background noise out. Now, obviously, when you hear the air conditioning kicking on, then that will come in because it's, we have a little bit of a, a more powerful air conditioning, a little bit too powerful sometimes. Um, it is a bit loud, so that's probably why it will come in a little bit. But, you know, it works. So, 
that's more a little bit about the uh, vowel transfer and stuff like that. Let's look into how to change the language on this thing. So let me look here. Uh, where is it? Um, is it under? H1 essential, H1 essential underscore accessibility underscore file. Let me just slow that down. H1 essential underscore accessibility underscore file underscore EMG underscore V1.01 folder. Okay. Uh, I don't even remember how to do this. Um, H1 essential underscore V1.10 underscore E folder. Hyphen. H1 essential. H1 essential. Okay, I have two of them here. Actually, I'm going to copy. H1 essential underscore accessibility underscore file underscore do underscore V1. Okay, that's German. H1 essential under. I'm going to copy. Score accessibility. Okay. I'm actually going to do a H1 H1 essential underscore H1 essential. Going to select that. H1 H1 essential H1 essential. Select that and copy to I. Copy. Close window. Um, zoom underscore H1 zoom under. Open that. And paste to item. Paste. Copy window. Stop. Zoom underscore list view zero four two eight trap zoom size trap H eight zero zero four zero H H one. Okay, so I'm going to zoom under that and do an eject on this uh on the SD card here on the zoom recorder. That's a command E as in. I'm not going to say the first one time because my device activated. So I'm going to say E as in ever. Zoom underscore H1E volume. Can Adagio, can okay, there we go. Concerto 2 MP3 ah. MP3 audio. Okay, so let's unplug it. Now I can actually connect this. I can actually now connect this to my, uh, to my computer, to my mixer. You can actually hear it this time better. So let me get my cable here. I'm actually gonna, let's see, turn this up. I'm gonna plug this in here. And I'm gonna turn on that channel. I'm sorry, I'm talking out loud, guys. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you can actually hear me through both of the microphones now. Um, maybe. Ow, that's loud. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit because ow, 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 ow. Okay. Whew. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was doing the language thing. So I'm gonna press the side button on the right. Menu. Rec settings. Okay, I'm gonna press the left arrow. Um, that is with the four buttons on the top. It's the second one from the left. Help. Press it again. System. And then press the OK button, which is the top right. Language. Now. I don't know if you have to do this, but we're gonna do this anyway. So I'm gonna press OK on that. English. So we can press the right arrow, which is the second from the right. Francais. Deutsch. <laughs> Deutsch. It's not Dutch. Deutsch. Uh, Deutsch is the German word for well, German. <laughs> I'm gonna press OK. Deutsch. Set. Now, I believe on screen it's showing it in German. We're not done yet. Francais. Oops. When you press the back button, which is the Top left. Language. Now we can use the right arrow button. Accessibility. And yes, it does say accessibility wrong. I think it's just the way it's pronouncing it. It's not misspelled. I did mention this to Zoom. Guide sound. Guide sound. Volume. Volume. Version. Now, I don't know how this exactly works, but we're going to try this. So I'm going to press OK. Language. English. Version. 1.01. 1. Oops. And it says English, but now how do I get this over to German? Because when I press the right and left arrow buttons, it doesn't do anything. So version language English version let's see. one point zero one. So I'm gonna press right arrow this once and then press OK. Uh. Uh. Hello? Why isn't it doing anything? What in the world? Version. Language. Okay. English. I think I did it too quickly. Version. One. Point. Okay. Zero. One. So, let's press right. And then I'm going to press OK. Uh, press OK again. I don't know how this is working. How, how do I, how, how, how do I, how, how, how do I do this? Is it, uh, I have no idea. 
Uh... Why isn't it doing anything? I tried to bake it into the different language and it won't let me do it. Why? Do I have to restart the recorder? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Version. All right, let's just restart the recorder and see what that does. All right, let's turn it back on. I don't think that did it, though. Rex standby. Nope, okay. Remaining time, 45, uh, hour, three, minute, battery level, full, stereo, low cut, off. Okay, Menu. let's try Rex this. Help, system, language, factory reset, firmware, power. Is it under firmware? firmware? System one point one zero boot one point zero zero. I can't be. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Cause that wouldn't make sense. Uh, uh oh. Uh, it's not working. Hold. Okay, let me see. Can I get out of this? Can I get out of this? No. Firmware. There we go. Power. Display. Um. Date. Time. Accessibility. Guide. Sound. Volume. Version. Language. It has to English. be. English. Version. One. Point. Oh. 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 I know why. I know why. I know why. Let me get that fixed. I know why. You know when you do something and then like it was so simple and then you, for you forget that you forgot to do the other thing before that and you're like, wow. Okay. Uh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. Help. System. USB mic. USB file transfer. PC slash Mac. File transfer. All right, guys, let me mute that for a minute. Because that is coming through, and I think it's getting some feedback there. So, sorry about that. Can you adagio? Zoom underscore H1E. Zoom okay. 0420 H1 essential underscore accessibility underscore file underscore do underscore V1.00 folder. Okay, v that's why. H1 accessibility H1 essential underscore accessibility underscore installation underscore guide underscore H1 accessibility underscore do bin map binary archive. Copy H1. Let's copy that. List. I'm going to. Move that there. Zero four two nine two zero H one H one H one accessibility uh, trash H one trash zoom size dot. Trust me, guys. Even those who know about technology a lot also make mistakes. Trash H H one H one zero H one accessibility underscore do okay. map binary archive H one essential underscore accessibility underscore file underscore do underscore v one point. Let's take that out. H one H zero four two zero H one accessibility underscore do bin map binary archive H one essential underscore accessibility underscore list view H one accessibility H one essential underscore H one. Now, do I need to put the English in there? I don't think so, but. Let's keep it. Let's keep that in there. Zoom underscore H one E volume. Zoom on. Are you sure you want to permanent open? Okay. Zero Z H one accessibility. Okay. Cool. Zoom All right. Cool. Okay. Zoom underscore H can adagio can. All right. Now we can take that out, and I can actually turn this back on. Rex standby. There we go. All right. Let's just restart this. And give it a second. And then I'll turn it back on. There we go. Rec standby. Okay, cool. Remaining Let's time. press menu. Menu. Rec settings. Help. System. System. Language. It's already in German on that one. Factory reset. Firmware. Oh, whoops, Factory. wrong way. Language. Accessibility. Press that Guide one. Guide sound. Volume. Version. Version. Language. English. Version. One. Point. Zero, one. And then I press right arrow and pressed OK. Cancel. Execute. And then it says to execute. Uh, comes with another option. So there's cancel and execute. I'm going to execute. Uh-oh. That wasn't a good sound. That was not a good sound. Was it? That was not a good sound. I don't think. Or was it? 
I don't, I don't know. I'm scared. Uh, please don't break. Please, please don't break. That was not a good sound. That, that was not a good sound, I don't think. Or was it? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Hold. Uh. Uh. Hello? Language. English. Version one uh. point zero one. Cancel. Execute. Lang oh, I think I need to plug it in the USB. Oh, version. I think I need to plug in the USB on that. Oops. Let me do that. Uh, I think that's why. Eh. There we go. Okay, let me plug this into my handy dandy smart power strip. All right, ah, there we go. We'll plug this in. Hopefully we don't get any feedback. Okay, cool, we're good. All right. Guide sound version. So we're press uh, on this one. Language, English. Yeah, apparently you have version to plug this in one to get the language changed, I zero think. One. All right, I'm gonna press right. Select. Cancel. Execute. Execute. Yep, that did it. That did it. Yep, that, that was the problem, I think. Let's just hope it actually changes to German. Because if it doesn't, then there's something I'm missing. Because it didn't exactly explain very well how to do that. And the PDF was extremely not accessible. It was, it was accessible, but it wasn't accessible, if that makes sense. Okay, so it might be restarting. And once it gets into German, guys, I will translate what it's saying. So don't worry. <laughs> then you'll have to be like, what? I'm actually kind of curious. I'm actually curious on how good the German is. Like, how good the voice is. Uh, is it restarting or is it? not that's my question because it didn't tell me if it has to restart uh yeah thanks zoom for not making that accessible fertig. oh question answered okay fertig which means finished all right version <laughs> version <laughs> it's trying to say version I, I don't think that's the right word for this, but whatever. So let's turn this off. And you can let, you, I can let it hear, let you hear what it sounds like when it turns on. So as you can tell, it has the same sound effect turning off and I am presuming that it has the same sound turning on. Yep. Aufnahmebereitschaft, Restlaufzeit. 45 Stunde 3 Minute Stereo Tiefensperre aus. Okay. So essentially it was saying recording standby, time remaining uh, 45 minutes. I forget the minute already, but some so many minutes. Uh, low cut filter off and uh, in stereo. So stereo, you probably heard. Oh, stereo. Some words in German are very, very similar in English in some ways. All right. Now, let's see what the menus uh, sound like. Menu. menu. Yep, that is the word for menu in German. Menu. Aufnahme Einstellungen. That means uh, recording set settings, record settings. Repeat Einstellung. Repeat. <laughs> it's trying to say repeat. That's not the word that we use, but, you know, close enough. USB. USB means USB. SD Karte. SD Karte. That means uh, S SD is, well, SD. And Karte is card. So that's what it is. So SD card. SD Karte. Overdub. 
overdub. It's trying to say overdub. I don't I don't think there's a word for that in German. I don't believe so. Anyway, continuing. Ausgang. Wait, what? Overdub. Ausgang. Ausgang? Oh, output. <laughs> so Ausgang can also mean that the the um the exit. Um It's, it's, I don't know why they use that <laughs> because I think what they're doing is I think they're literally translating everything literally word for word. You can't do that with German, unfortunately. You can't do that with German, but you get the idea where you can't, it's like with any other language. You can't take a word and translate it literally. You have to take the word and then figure out, okay, this is the meaning of it. It's, it's complicated. This team. So this team. Yeah, so system, yeah, that that is system, system. Yeah, we use that word in German like that. So let's say you're like, I want to put this back in English. We can do that. Sprache. So Sprache, that's language. We're going to press that. Deutsch. So we have Deutsch. I'm going to press the arrow key, one of the arrow keys to get to English. Französisch. Französisch, that's uh, French. Actually, I'll show you. Deutsch. Italienisch. Italienisch, that's Italian. Spanish. Spanish, you can tell that there's a sh at the end for each language. Chinesish. Chinesish. Japanish. Japanish. The first one was uh, Chinese. The other one was uh, Japanese. English. English. We want that. We're going to press OK. English. Einstellen. So English Einstellen. Uh, that means English has been set. So now we're going to press the uh, back button. Sprache. And I'm going to press the right arrow until we get to accessibility. Zugriff. Uh, Datum Zeit. Datum. Anzeige. Anzeige. Stromversorg. Firmware. Initialisieren. Initialisieren. Sprache. Zugriff. Datum Zeit. Anzeige. I believe it's this one. Helligkeit. Energiesparfunktion. Nope, not that one. Anzeige. Stromversorg. Firmware. Initialisieren. 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 Abbrechen. Ausführen. Oh. Okay, that's factory reset. Okay, yeah, I did that by mistake. Whoops. Sprache. Zugriff. Guide signal. Lautstärke. Okay. Version. Okay, so. Lautstärke. What was it? Guide signal. Guide signal. So apparently this is accessibility. Um. Deutsch und Signalton. <laughs> no! Nur Signalton. Deutsch und Signalton. Okay, never mind. Uh, Guide Signal. No. Zugriff. Zugriff. Sorry. Okay, it's Zugriff. So apparently that's what they use for accessibility. Um, interesting. Guide Signal. So, Lautstärke. Version. Then we go to Version, which is their version of saying version. Sprache. Deutsch. Version. 1.00. Okay. I'm going to use my arrow key. Just press once to the right. I don't know that actually is necessary, but I press that and I'm going to press OK. Doesn't do anything, but I'm going to guess it has that message up there. It says to execute. Abbrechen. There's abbrechen, which means to cancel. Ausführen. Ausführen means to continue. So I press OK and now it's switching the language. So Yes, that is how you change the language. So I believe you can have as many languages as you want, but you have to download the language pack. And that is a little bit tricky to do that. It took me a little bit to find that, but thank goodness their website was mostly accessible. So yeah, and once a new firmware comes out, I will also demonstrate on how to, up, uh, how to update that. It's actually fairly simple. So yeah. We'll get there once that once that time comes out. They are are they are working on a new firmware. They are working on that. So you have to have this on the charger while it is uh, changing languages or updating the version, which makes sense because you know it probably takes a lot of battery power to update that stuff. Fertig. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, okay. I may have to take off the German one and then leave the English one there so I can install that one. Because I'm wondering if both of them can't be on there and it's confusing it on there. Let's take that out and I will put it over here.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Version, Zugriff, System, USB-Mikrofon, Datenaustausch. Datenaustausch. PC Mac. Yes, PC Mac. Dateiübertragung. Okay, cool. Um, Can Adagio can share add text, which is zoom underscore. Zoom underscore zero four two nut zero eight eight one trash code eight eight one accessibility underscore to bin map binary archive. Okay, move to Let's delete that. Cancel list. Are you sure you plus zoom? Okay, and zoom underscore h one e. Can Adagio can share. Okay, now I can do ah, something fell, and I can take ah. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna mute that again. Tiefensperre. Okay. Uh, no. Tiefensperre. Okay. What in the world? Oh, okay. Okay, that's why. Um. Okay. okay. Uh, actually. Aufnahme bereitschaft. Let me restart it just in case, because I actually don't know if it restarts or not. I think it does, but I don't know. Oh well. Uh. What in the world? There it goes. Zaggy phone! Aufnahme bereitschaft. <laughs> that was a really Echo. weird accent. Okay. Auf Hilfe. Uh, System. Echo. Stop. Hilfe. Echo. Volume 2. Okay. System. System. Sprache. Uh, Zugriff. Datum Zugriff. Zugriff, which is accessibility. Version. Version. Sprache. Deutsch. Version 1. Punkt. Null. Null. Okay. Abbrech. Ausführen. Okay, if this doesn't work, I have no idea what will, what will work. Because that should work. Because I don't, I don't know what it wants me to do. I'm being serious, because I don't know. Because I don't want to refa I don't want to factory reset this thing. And that means that I put it back to factory defaults the way it came out of the box. I don't want to do that. I did it once. And I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, there comes our air conditioning. Yay. So that'll be coming in here soon. Leg done. There we go. Okay. So you do have to take off that language and put the other one on. I don't think that should be... Yeah, you know, whatever. Anyway, there we go. All right, that's how that works. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Technology. Yay. That's how that works with the file transfer and changing the language on there, which took like five attempts, but oh well. Anyway. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And now for the outro. So that's it for today's video. If you guys have any more questions, please put them down in the comments below. Or you may send them to info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. You can also give me a text at 913-312-1325. And if you do not live in the United States, you can text me through WhatsApp and give me a call there as well. I also have a toll-free number that you can use to give me a call at 877-318-8775. Please also follow me and like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kid, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. And you can also join my discussion forum on my website where you can ask questions about technology and help to answer questions about technology for the blind and stuff like this by going to thetechpianoplayerkid.com and clicking on the discussion board page underneath the navigation bar menu where you can register for a free account and help to answer questions and ask questions if need to be. Please make sure that you get permission from your parents if you still need to do so before making an account. Just to make sure that you're on the safe side and that you don't want to get in trouble because we don't want that to happen. And you can also subscribe to my monthly newsletter if you wish by going to my website, thetechpianoplayerkid.com. Again, if need to be, get permission from your parents just to be on the safe side. And you can unsubscribe at any time if you wish and you have any trouble with unsubscribing or creating an account or deleting your account, please let me know and I will do my best to help you out. Anyway, that's it for today's video. God bless you all, and peace. The Tech Piano Player Kid is out. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below. For questions, please send an email to info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. You can also give a call or text at 913 
312-1325. And don't forget to like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kit, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. Black background with white text that reads The Tech Piano Player Kit displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille, then fades to black.